Welcome, my name is Chris. This is Prospecting for Adventure. And today we're out here in my favorite little flood gold spot. I'm about to concentrate some gravels into a bucket and run it through the sluice. So last time I was here, I ran the combo mat by Dream Mat. And uh, I'll show you a clip, but we were working right here, taking the surface off. I did some tests there. It's not great anymore. I did a couple other tests, show you a pan. There's my test pan from the new pay streak. Got about 20 colors in here. If I can't beat that, this is what I'm gonna run through the sluice. And I'm about two or three days after the water started going down. This is the area that I worked in past videos. The river eroded away quite a bit of this, and uh, it's not testing very well anymore. I already found that other spot that we're gonna run. Just wanted to show you how much this spot has changed. During the summer, I was sluicing all the way down there, but I built a little wing dam right here and made it work. This is the path that we walked to bring the buckets down to the sluice to run it. Big washout back here. So plenty of new places to test pan. Now let's get to sluicing. So this is the first bucket of the run. Already starting to see some gold in there. Lots of metal in this stuff. That's normally pretty good here. Tells me I'm on the pay streak. It's running pretty quick right there. This is what the tail end of the box looks like. Looks pretty full, but it's still uh, exchanging material really well. Let it clear out for a moment. You can see all the black sand starting to build up. You can see little pieces of metal building up down here too. Another one. All right, well I did about six buckets, starting to rain on me. Um, right at the bottom of this bucket. After I put the rest of that through, I'm gonna let the sluice clean out. Take a look, see if there's any gold in the mat. And do a clean out and then I'm done. All right, well that spot where I had 20 colors in a test pan, it didn't last very long. It's kind of a small spot. So I was running material that probably had about 10 colors a pan. For that small flood gold, that doesn't add up very quick. Uh, when I get home, I'll do a cleanup and show you the gold. So I'll see you there. These are all the wire bits that the mat caught. I'm still pretty impressed with how the mat holds onto this stuff. I've had other mats that this stuff just blows out. As I'm cleaning this out, I got down to the minus 100, and uh, I'm pretty surprised how well this mat catches this stuff. One of these days, I'll take it out there, and I'll find a spot that just has this minus 100 type of gold and just run the snot out of it and see how much it catches. All right, so here it is. I didn't expect to get a ton of gold. I was only running for three hours, and part of that I spent looking for a good spot to dig. So not too shabby. I think that was five or six buckets, three quarter buckets. 
Well, I'm definitely going back while the water's still high. It makes it easier to run the sluice box. And uh, next time we'll probably do better. I'll have more time down there. I'm still going to use the combo mat. I'm liking it so far. So until next time, thanks for watching. Good luck out there.